This is a production of Cornell University. Yeah, this is a this is a small experiment that I ran um, two years ago uh, when I was a senior at the University of Scranton, and I never really got a chance to talk about it. So, uh, yeah, this is really exciting. Uh, so this study was called, you know, uh, you know, bullet ants demonstrate nasty neighbor effect. And so a brief background. Uh, back in the 50s, there was a researcher uh, named James Fisher who found out that some species of birds acted more aggressively towards uh, foreign invaders than to their own neighbors. And so if you look at this little figure with some cardinals, if there were birds in a given territory all competing for some sort of resource, they would try very hard to prevent an outside bird uh, from also competing into that resource. And, and so Fisher termed that this, uh, this phenomenon as the deer enemy effect in which an or like a community kind of interacts with their neighbors, but to prevent foreign outsiders. But also there's kind of the opposite effect that can happen called the nasty neighbor effect, where you know, a group of birds or organisms in a, in a given, given territory act more aggressive to those neighbors uh, than towards their, uh, than to maybe nest mates. And so if anyone has ever heard of um, Kosha Cashew, there's a research station uh, in the Amazon River Basin in Peru. And if you have a chance to go down there, you'll find that there are a frightening amount of bullet ant colonies. Uh, and, and ants are very territorial. And so this was an experiment to really look at how do different colonies of ants that are very territorial interact with each other if colonies are just so frequently close. And so I went out, um, my GPS marks a couple colonies, uh, collected them in some plastic containers. I was me pulling some bullet ants off of a tree and uh, started working with them. And so first result we found, um, or that I found was that neighboring ants were acting much more aggressive than foreign ants. And so I made a simple little aggression scale, um, interacted them for, for time trials and found that, you know, neighbors were acting much more aggressively, significantly more aggressively than with foreign ants. Um, and I then tried to decouple um, the arbitrary category like, or classification of neighbors and foreigners, which just because ants can uh, travel really, really far from their nest. And so again, I, I had these colonies that were GPS marked and then I took their GPS coordinates um, and turned those into um, decimal coordinates, like little X, Y points, and then threw that into the distance formula to come up with a, a, you know, a distance of how far away they are from, from nests. And so when I plotted that uh, and just doing a simple linear regression, um, I did find that this held true and that there does seem to be a nasty neighbor effect with these ants. Uh, quick little conclusion. Um, yeah, bold ants seem to demonstrate a trend of nasty neighbor effect. Um, why I think that they do this is that Kosha Cashew has a ton of bold ant colonies. It's a really beautiful place. And my advisor at the time said it might be the most abundant environment of bullet ants that he's ever seen. Um, and resource, resource competition can be really high. And you know, due to these densities, uh, colonies of bullet ants learn to interact or learn to recognize their neighbors and then have to defend their territories much more frequently than a foreigner. Um, and so that's my short little presentation. Uh, I'm ready for questions if, if anybody had any. So a quick add for you, Matt, where, where was, where is Kosha Cashew? Where, what country is that? Oh, it's in Peru. It's in the Amazon Peru. River Basin uh, area of Peru. And I luckily did not get stung by any of these bullet ants. I was very happy. <laughs> This has been a production of Cornell University, on the web at cornell.edu.